Welcome to this tutorial. I'm going to show you a bot meant to upload automatically NFTs on OpenSea. As you probably know, this is the page of OpenSea that allows you to create new items and our program will operate exactly on this page. So, let's see how it works. The program, or the bot, needs this form to be filled out to operate. And now I will show you how to do that. Every row corresponds to one NFT. You can easily understand that every column corresponds to an NFT parameter. The first parameter is file path, so the position of the file on your computer, in my case it's an image. The second one is the NFT name, choose whatever you want. The third is collection link. Yes, because external link and description are not needed for the pro program to work properly. Of course, you can fill them up. Now let's move on on properties, levels and stats. Down here I wrote you the format of the data, but I want you to deeply understand how it really works. So, let's see the OpenSea page, so that you understand how this data will be inserted in this page. The text you write inside the square brackets will be put here, inside these boxes. The unlockable content box requires a text. Here you may put a link to a website or a promotional code. Explicit and sensitive content box requires a boolean value, so true or false. Supply is just an integer, so how many of these NFT are going to be available? Now, blockchain. Pay attention, because depending on the blockchain, you'll need to fill the form in different ways. If you're using Polygon, don't fill up sale type, method and ending price, because it doesn't support these features. Just fill up price and duration. What if you're using Ethereum blockchain? As you can see, there are two types of sales. If you want to use Termed Auction, write it on the sale type column and in the method you can choose sell to the higher bidder or sell with declining price. If you choose to use sell with declining price, please remember to set an ending price. If you want to use a fixed price, just set a fixed price. Duration. Here you have two formats to specify the duration. The first is just typing the number of days or months. The second is typing the beginning and the ending date, as you can see in these two examples. The specific buyer field requires a wallet address, like this one. Now, let's work on the program. First thing first, let's go to the settings, where you have to insert the product, product key and the browser profile path. Here is where you can find it. We are back in the home page. Now I upload the exe file we compiled before, and here there are all our NFTs. By clicking start, the bot will start doing its job. By modifying this index, you can choose from what NFT to start. If for some reason you want to start from the second, simply put his index here, that is 1. I want to start from the first, hence I leave the 0. Once you start the program, it will open your browser and ask you to unlock Metamask. And now he is doing everything by himself. I'm not touching the keyboard, I swear. If you have JSON files of your NFTs, you can convert them using this little program. Just insert the folder that contains the JSON files and they'll be converted as you see here. Now just copy and paste. I really hope you enjoyed the tutorial. That's it for now. Farewell.